Hi everybody. So this is a session for IO stream in Java programming. Now you know Java IO package contains nearly every class you might ever need to perform the input output in Java. All these streams uh, you know represent an input source and an output destination. The stream in the Java IO package supports many uh, data uh, such as primitive object, localized characters, etc. Now a stream can be defined as a sequence of data. The input stream is used to read data from a source and output stream is used for writing the data to the destination. Now Java provides strong but flexible uh, you know IO support you can say uh, um, provides a flexible IO support related to files and networks. Okay so we'll be discussing about the very basic functionality which is related to streams and input output that is IO. Now we'll talk about first of all that is byte stream. Now Java byte streams are used to perform input and output of 8 bit bytes. Uh, though there are many classes related to byte stream but most frequently the used classes are file input stream and file output stream. So I'll give you an example which makes uh, you know uh, the use of two classes these two classes that is file input stream and file output stream class to copy an input file to an output file. Now first talking about the file uh, you know talking about the uh, file input stream. Now the file input stream class makes it possible to read the contents of the file as stream of bytes. File input stream class is a subclass of the input stream. This means that you use the file input stream as an input stream. File input stream like behaves like an input stream. Talking about the file output stream, file output stream class makes it possible to write a file as a stream of bytes. File output stream class is a subclass of output stream, meaning uh, that you can use a file output stream as an output stream. Okay, so let's take an example for this. So we have the, you can see, this is the example where we, uh, which, which use the two classes to copy an input file. Copy an input file to a particular output file. I want you to see that I have a particular location, okay, where my, I have within my workspace, I have the Java program, that is the, uh, the project name. Within this, I have made a file that is input.txt, okay. I write here Java is fun. I've created a file, let's say I'll just delete this file output and now I run this program. Now what will happen, it is saying it is creating an object of the input stream, file input stream and file output stream and using this, in, uh, you know, uh, then it is, uh, you know, basically using the input file and the output file. With the help of, you know, uh, the read method and write method, it is reading the data from the input file and writing the data to the output file respectively. So if I run this program, so I'll just go to the place. Now I want you to see that it has created the output file. It earlier had, you know, I deleted the output file that was present here, but now the output file has been created and it has same data as Java is fun. Now moving on to the, you know, moving on to the next one, that is the character stream. Okay, so character stream, you know, uh, Java, uh, you can say byte stream are used to perform input output of 8 bit bytes, whereas Java character streams are used to perform input output for 16 bit Unicode. Uh, you know, though there are many classes, but most of all, we use the file reader and the file writer class. Okay, so talking about the file reader class, file reader class makes it possible to read the contents of a file as a stream of character. It, may, it works much like the file input stream, uh, except that the file input stream read bytes, whereas file reader read characters. So file reader is intended to read text in other words, you can say. So one character may correspond to one or more bytes depending on the character encoding scheme. Then we have the file writer class that makes it possible to write a file as a stream of characters. In that, uh, you know, respect it works much like the file output stream, except that the file output stream is again byte based, whereas file writer is again character based, just like it was in file reader. 
so file writer is intended to write text and uh, the one character may correspond to one or more bytes depending on again the character encoding scheme okay so let's take an example for this as well so we have the character input stream i would go to the place uh, i'll delete this particular file output one i want you to see i have input one named file so it is like you can say welcome java is fun so i used a, a, a different text as compared to the input file the input one will have a different text okay so i'll just you know so this is making an object of the file reader class okay and it is using input file input file and an output file again it is going through you know using uh, read and write method to read and write to the input and the output file respectively okay so i'll just run this program and you'll see i create this so it gets me the output one which has been created and it gets the same result as welcome java is fun now uh, let me get on to the some standard streams so all programming languages provide the support for standard input output where user program can take input from the key keyboard and then produce output on the computer screen so if you're aware of c and or you know c++ programming uh, then you you will be aware about using you know std out then std in and so on so we have some you know a similar three uh, standard streams first is the standard uh, input uh, first we'll talk about standard output that is system dot out this is used to output the data produced by the user and usually a computer screen is used to standard output stream and is represented again as system dot out then we have standard input this is used to feed the data to the user program and usually a keyboard is used as a standard input stream and is represented as system dot in then we have system error sorry standard error this is basically used to output the error data produced by the user program and usually a computer screen is used to standard error stream and is represented by system dot error now we'll talk about the file class now the java dot io dot file class is an abstract representation of the file in the directory path names the uh, the some some points have to be kept in mind that is instances may or may not denote an actual file system object such as a directory or a file uh, if it you know does denote uh, such an object then that object resides in partitions a file system may implement restrictions to certain operations or the actual file system object such as reading writing or executing instances of the file class are immutable that is it is once created uh, this will never change okay so file class represents the file and the directory path names in an abstract manner this is used for creation of files and directories file searching file deletion so we have some you know uh, we have the syntax for creating a new file like we write file then we give the file parent that is uh, the you know the syntax creates the new file by converting uh, the given path name string into an abstract path so we give the parent and the child name the parent name is file and the child that is you know let's say string in form of then we give file and the string uh, you know a path name so it's it basically you can say uh, it is about giving the path name string to an uh, you know abstract path name so i'll take an example to make these things even more clear so i have file in java i want you to see i created a file test1 here okay this is a simple file that i have created here so it says that i created the object of file and i uh, you know used it or i'm going through i can uh, you know this is a array of uh, you know strings that i have created so you can add more uh, you know uh, files to it it goes through all these files and check for the absolute path as well as uh, you know whether it is it can be executable it is executable file or not okay so i'll just run this so it says that you know this is the particular location of the file and checks whether it is executable or not so it says it's true that is boolean f dot can execute as true so it is put to true so let me uh, take an example 
so let's say i write here so the uh, you know uh, there are the fo the fo following are the constructors that we'll be discussing the we have like the file as i told you parent and then we have the string child okay so basically when we talk about this it is creating a new file from a parent and as i told you uh, a child path name string then we can have the file then we have you know path name that would be of string type okay so basically when we talk about this it creates a new file instance by converting the given path name string into an abstract path name okay similarly we can have like the file then we have the uri uri okay so basically it will uh, create a new file instance by converting the given file uri into abstract path name then uh, we also have uh, the you know so basically uh, it can also have file string parent then we have string child okay so uh, this will create a new instance from a parent path name string and a child path name string okay so now once you have an file object in hand then there is a list of you know uh, methods that you can use to manipulate the files so i hope that will be fine